Hello everybody, my name is PurpleGamer17 from the PurpleCast, and today I'm going to be playing some Halo Wars 2. I want to talk about a certain game mode inside of Halo Wars 2 that isn't a part of the traditional game that you would think of Halo Wars. Um, Blitz is the newest game mode in Halo Wars 2 where you have, uh, I believe it's 12 cards that you can choose from within a match, um, with 4 cards in your hand at any, any odd time. Once you play a card, you draw one. Um, these cards are how you play each of your units, and today I'm not going to talk about the mechanics of the game itself, I want to talk about uh, deck building and how you should build your deck in my opinion. Although my deck building strategies are not the best, um, it could be different depending on your playstyle or how you are. This is how I build my decks, and it usually works fairly well for me. Um, let's see. So I'm just gonna build a deck for the Shipmaster real fast because he's my favorite uh, leader for Blitz. The first thing you kind of want to do, in my opinion, is choose which one or two cards, um, massive cards, you're gonna want to play with. Um, Spirit Assault is not usually the best. I, I pretty much always pick the Scarab Assault because that's always good for the late game when you just want to decimate an army that's hunkered down on an objective. Um, next up, the Ironclad Wraith is a very powerful vehicle. Um, while I am picking these heavier powered cards, it is important to note that you can't have too many of these because then you wouldn't have any units on the floor at any time. So, I definitely want a blister back. I think the blister back is one of the most important uh, vehicles in this game mode because it can pretty much shoot from one spot and hit two objectives. It has a very strong range and it's very, very powerful. Now, moving on to the more middle leveled cards. Um, since I already have an ironclad wraith, I don't want to pick up another Wraith, because I don't think the Wraiths are that powerful when you're playing this game. Um, counters are much more efficient, um, definitely, rather than just having a general base tank. So I'm going to, you know, ignore that. I'm not a huge fan of a lot of these higher powered uh, abilities. I prefer having units on the field, so I'm going to skip over Glassing Beam and the Cloaking Field. I just feel like if for 100, it it isn't quite worth it. Um, definitely, because there's such a limited number of anti-air, I'm going to say go ahead and put in your Reavers. Um, because if, you know, most of the time people won't have air, um, usually it'll just be some Banshees or some Hornets, uh, but you want to make sure that you can effic efficiently counter them when they do have them. Suicide Grunts, yet again, I don't really prefer them because they, they once they die, you know, they're dead. One, one unit use, kind of like a glassing beam. You use it and you're done and you're out that, much, that certain number of energy. So I don't really like Suicide Grunts. Um, furthermore, Marauders, it depends if you want to put this in your deck or not, for me anyways, because of your starting army. Um, right now the scout army is three ghosts. I almost prefer having two Marauders because of their significantly higher amount of uh, armor. I think that's pretty powerful. And since I start with two, I don't think I want to add a, a Marauder to my deck. Um, furthermore, Banshee is always a solid unit. It's a cheap card. You can cycle through it pretty quickly. Um, I'm going to decide on the Blood Fuel Locust later once I've gone through and picked all of my top cards. And then I'll go through, and if I have any room left, then I'll start putting more cards in there. One of the most important things, I think, is the Engineer, 100%. That is really, really important for healing your cards, especially since the Shipmaster doesn't have... Um, a, a stationary, like, a general healing ability. Uh, at least I don't have it unlocked yet for the Shipmaster. Um, I skipped over the Grunt Mob because it's not a very powerful card. Um, yet again, it's, you know, you want a card that will get the job done, um, and, and the Grunt Mob just doesn't quite do it for me. Same with Assault Elites. They're just not very powerful. They don't not very good against you know vehicles in any way um and 
the only time people use infantry is mostly in the in the beginning game, so I don't think assault elites are very good. Locusts are very powerful, though, I will say. Um, and then hunters are pretty much a must because of how many vehicles are in this game and how many times people will use them. Um, chopper, because of its scouting capabilities, it's very good to just go and grab some energy sources real quick. Um, and that's why I would pick that. So now we have three empty spots, and we have to decide what we want to put in here. Um, I don't... Grunts, possibly. Um, they are very good in the beginning of the game, just to cycle through cards, which is always important. But we do have a, you know, the chopper, which is only 20 energy, and then we do have some hunters, which are 40 energy. So, you know, pretty much everything else is higher, so we might want to consider this. But first, I want to look at the deck stats, just to see where we are power level-wise. Um, so it looks like our counters are very evenly distributed. You almost don't want to have... You, you almost want to have more vehicle counters, though. You want to kind of increase that one a little bit. So I might have to consider that when I go back to change my deck. Um, the energy card cost uh, seems to be somewhat distributed equally. So now we're looking for something that could destroy vehicles a little bit easier, but it's not too expensive. Either I want the Locust or I want the Wraith. The Wraith may be a little bit more effective, but it is super expensive. So I might have to just pass on that and go with the Locust. Although it isn't a direct counter to vehicles, it is very far range and it has a siphon ability. I think I'm gonna have to find some more cycle cards. Um, the Jump Pack Brute is a very good card if you wanna just go snag a um, energy resource real fast. So I'm, I'm gonna have to... I'm deciding between that or the Ghost, because either one is very effective in cycling. Um, ghost is only 10 energy more, and it can shoot at a range, while the Jump Pack Brute can't shoot air, and it only... Uh, you have they have to be up close and personal melee style. So I think for the extra 10 energy, I'm gonna go with a Ghost. And then, furthermore, I think the deck is fairly balanced. Um, Still wish I had more uh, anti-vehicle, but there's nothing really that I can do about that with what cards I have. I don't really want to fork over the extra 110 energy for the Wraith. And then the Unstable Banshee could be an option, depending on if you want to have the higher uh, um, energy average. But for me, I don't think it's very effective in that regards, and especially because it's only a level 1. You also have to take in consideration the level of your cards. In the end, I think I'm going to have to go with Grunts. Um, I wanted to go through my thought process on how to build a deck, and hopefully it could help you decide what kind of deck you want to build. Um, for me, I kind of like to have a more... Uh, have a lot more units on the field at one time. I like to micromanage a lot. I like to send my units in a lot of places. I want to counter a lot. Um, but for you, you you know, you know, might want to have you know a Scarab Assault and a Spirit Assault. You might want to have the Unstable Banshee. You might you know, want to have a lot of energy uh, put into your units while having a limited number of units. And that's always a viable strategy as well. Although I'm not like a professional Halo Wars 2 player, this is kind of my thought process as to going into a deck. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to our channel. And if you really liked it, um, we do have a Discord chat where you can go on and talk to any one of us Purplecast members or to fellow fans of the show. Thank you very much and have a good day.